Welcome to today's episode of the Blueprint Podcast, where we throw out the old blueprint so we can learn to become who we were always meant to be. I'm your host, Jason Smith. And if you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button and share the podcast with your friends on social media and tag me in it at jbirdfit. In today's episode, we discuss the Daily Stoic Journal and pieces of my story of resilience. If you're not familiar with the Daily Stoic Journal, this is a great opportunity to get acquainted with journaling, managing your mind, and cultivating emotional resilience. So what is it? It was written by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman. The Daily Stoic Journal is 366 days of writing and reflection on the art of living. The journal provides you with 52 Stoic disciplines or practices, one for each week of the year, and the authors provide a little guidance on the significance and application of those practices and followed it up with quotes from the Stoics. What Stoics, you might ask? Seneca, Epictetus, Diogenes, and Marcus Aurelius, to name a few. I first started using the journal and its prompts on September 29th, 2021. I was physically and mentally going through a difficult time with two injuries that resulted in shoulder surgery and an ongoing neck injury that I'm still dealing with today. And this isn't a poor me story. If you've seen my home gym, then you know I'm in it every day and will keep working to regain mobility in my neck. But this is part of my story of resilience. The Daily Stoic Journal helped guide me from a place of why is this happening to me to everything is happening for me. You see, without that injury, I never would have created a platform on social media where I help others build a better relationship with themselves so they can have the types of relationships that they want to have with others. Here's the funny part. I had no idea how to journal. It's true. You hear me talk about how wonderful it is, but like you, I procrastinated using this tool because I didn't understand its value or how to use it effectively. So I looked online and searched for a few videos on how to journal, the benefits of journaling, best ways to journal. And the answer was always the same. There is no right way to journal. You just have to start. The year prior, I had a gratitude journal that I struggled with because I was unable to tap into any other parts of me. So it quickly became, I have gratitude for my dog, Chloe, my house, my home gym, the opportunities I've been given. Air. The Daily Stoic offered something different. It tapped into my thoughts, feelings, and emotions. The first journal prompt was on September 29th, and it goes like this. Where are my eyes bigger than my stomach? I didn't know what to write, so I put that I had physical therapy and went to Panera for coffee and a bagel that day, but that quickly shifted into my role as a police officer. You see, that career path in part fed my chaotic soul until I began unlearning decades of negative emotional programming. A shift happened in my writing and I turned into or attuned to my inner being, that inner knowing, that piece of me that was dormant for so long that I felt emotionally closed off to the world around me. What came out on the page was it's time to start growing again, to stop living small. And what I was doing for a career isn't small, but I had an inner knowing that I could and should be doing more to help others. Inside the Daily Stoic, underneath the Daily Prompt, you have space for a morning and evening reflection. My evening reflection that night was an experience I had earlier in the day where groupthink was of guilt, fear, shame, rumor, and gossip. I easily could have been pulled into it, but I stepped back and reminded myself that is outside of me. I cannot control how others react, but I can control how I respond, as well as what emotions I absorb from others. The mantra for that evening I created for myself was breathe, be free, and let go. If you got value from this episode, make sure you share the show on Instagram and tag me in it at jbirdfit. If you haven't already, sign up for the 21-day self-love challenge. This is 21 days of self-love with several guest speakers to guide you through your journey. Some of those speakers are Sabrina Zohar, dating relationship coach, Nathan Mansfield, Brian Morgan, Paula Michelle, Joey Labossiere, and so many more. You're not going to want to miss this, so make sure that you get signed up.